Hi guys, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing guys this model, which is a model for speech recognition, which has a billion parameters. Okay, so it's a very big model. It's actually a believable model for, for us to have access to. Uh, so I'm going to record a simple audio test here. This is speech recognition done by a massive model. So we're going to run this. I do like hugging face because of this um, accessibility in, in terms of models and APIs documentation. You guys can see here exactly how to run this model on your local computer. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do that through the microphone input. And I'm just going to show you guys exactly how hard it is to run this model. It's actually not that hard. Uh, you just need a bunch of RAM. If you try to run on a GPU, it's harder because uh, GPU RAM is more difficult to have than actually system RAM. And you guys can see here that the loading times are quite long. Okay, it takes a, a while to load the, mo the model into memory. So I'm just going to show you guys the code that we have here. So here I have this code. Okay, I'm going to close this. Basically, I've created a directory or folder to store the models that I download from the transformers library. And here I have the code for getting those models and speech recognition for AVD or automatic voice detection. I also taught summary, which did not work. I had to use this function to get the number of parameters uh, for the model, as you guys can see here. Also, I have those other models that I was testing, and here is the English model. You guys can hear a device is cool, okay? Here we load the model, we show the number of parameters, and we start the recognition, okay? And he does say what yours um, spoke, okay? Uh, let's see, yeah. It always done. So the first time it takes a while, but after that, it's going to be faster. Hello there. As you can see here, it took a second on CPU, which is quite fast, actually. Let's load this. Uh, you guys can see we are trying to load into the GPU. So we need to pay attention here. I'm, have, I'm using about one gigabyte of video memory. We're going to load this model. You guys need to pay attention to the disk usage. D, okay. The read speeds. So the read speeds are massive, okay? I uh, do have an error. Okay, now you guys can see here. So reading those files in this model is massive. If you go to files and versions, we can see exactly how big the model is. It's 3.8 gigabytes, okay? Almost 4 gigabytes. So it takes a while to load, especially if you have a hard drive, which is my case because my SSD only has 120 gigabytes and this I cannot store those models on my SSD. So my workaround was to install them on a hard drive using this flag on the environment variables and it takes a while and uh, now i'm gonna go to video memory yeah i was able to load this into memory it seems i'm gonna try to do recognition now so let's see it might be doing already actually i need to add a line here uh, i'm gonna do start speaking just so i know that it's time to start speaking and i can do the speech recognition tutorial so it takes a while to load the model you guys can see it takes about i think 30 seconds or something like that a long time uh, to load the model you guys can see the read speeds are about 100 megabytes per second when i see start speaking i should start speaking so let's see hello there <laughs> until some point okay so now we run into the problem that i was talking about which is that i don't have enough memory for some reason and it shows me that it tried to allocate 20 megabytes so this is just like a for very very margin of error i am not able to run this mod on my gpu if i had eight gigs I, I would probably run without a problem but i only had six so we have this problem okay so i'm gonna show you guys how the workaround is which is to run on cpu which is not that bad actually but i want to see if i want i will be able to optimize this model to run on my gpu so now we're just gonna comment this uh device to cpu and we will run again and now the, the loading times will be the same but the computation times or the prediction time computation times i guess when i call it is gonna be a little longer and i should see that in a minute yeah it takes a while and here we're gonna see this CPU usage. Hi there. 
This is me doing speech recognition on a model with a billion parameters. As you guys can see, it does have some errors. This is me. This is me doing speech recognition on a model. Model with a billion parameters. Parameters? Par parameters. Okay. Uh, as you guys can see, the, it takes a while, but it's totally doable on a CPU. Especially if you have a more powerful uh, CPU than me. I have a four core uh, Ryzen 5 3400G, which is Zen 2 uh, actually. Or is it Zen Plus? I'm not sure. So I guess you can see it's doable. And it, we, we might have problems with um, RAM actually. I ran into a, 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 an error of RAM. It was using no more than 16 gigs, okay? So you guys need to be aware of that. So I'm trying to search for methods to compress this model. The the other model is, is actually pretty good as well. So this is the one billion model. I can use the large model. So I'll do a search for that. Okay, I'm gonna search for, I'm gonna show you guys how good the, the other model is. It's not that bad actually but it's not as good as this model, which is this one. I, I'm i gonna copy this, actually. I wanna keep this. I wanna copy this model here. It's not that bad, this model. And I'm gonna use the GPU just to see how fast it is. So the GPU makes a lot of difference. It makes a lot of difference when it comes to running infer inference because of the optimization that it, it comes from. It comes with, and now we're downloading the those the, the model into my uh, local hard drive. And you guys, we see the downloading progress as we go with. So this model is one point and two gigabytes almost. So it's like a third of the size, which is a three hundred parameters model. So if you go to files here, you guys can see one point two and six. So it was about a third of the the size of the one billion parameters. So this model has three hundred million parameters, which is a lot still so this mod i think you should guys uh you guys should st stick with this one if you're trying to deploy a project that requires a gpu for faster but the one billion parameter model actually does give you a lot more accuracy when it comes to speech recognition we are seeing the download here just to be clear the download process only happens once if i ran this program again i would not see this screen on my terminal okay it's taking a while to, to download so i'm downloading about I think I'm running this on the CPU or on the cloud, right? On this demo page. Which one's okay? We are done. And we can see the CUDA usage. It actually needs to detect the voice first. Okay. Hello there. Hi. It's not recognizing. Is there something wrong with my code? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Uh, we don't have memory. Uh, maybe. Let me see. Oh, yeah, we don't have memory, which is not what I was expecting. Maybe this could have, have a bug. I don't know. It should be able to run on my GPU. So you guys can see here, uh, we do have some problems. I need to figure out a way to um, compress this model. Now we're going to run fine. You guys can see it's not using that much VRAM. And you guys can see that. Let me put side by side. Oh, side by side. This way. No test manager. So you guys can see here the VRAM usage. Is, it's normal. About um how much VRAM? 5 gigs. So using quite a lot. Uh, we can see the performance usage. So I think I've been talking for a while. So I'm going to close this. It might be that this mod has some kind of bug. I want to see that. Uh, where's the other one? The other model? It should not be taking this much. This is a test. Okay. And we ran again into that problem. Uh, so yeah, I think this model has some kind of bug. I should be able to run this uh, without a problem because of i can run uh, some language models up to like 600 million parameters but i think where to vac must have some kind of bug into the CUDA allocation part uh, i'm gonna test on the cpu now and this is not the a billion parameters model it's just the large one the load times are not that bad actually 
Oh, you guys can see here up here uh, is 315 uh, million parameters. Hi there. Hello there. I think I found the, the bug. I'm gonna close now. Okay. Yeah, you guys can see here. <laughs> there is a bug in the memory location that the, it goes way up here. Okay, you guys can see here there's some problems with this model. I'm gonna try to figure that out soon. So this was the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. You guys can see the progress that we have. Uh we are actually now able to run this model. We actually have some problems trying to run them. When it comes to memory allocation, it might have some bugs, I think. Uh, there is some bugs in the memory location in this model, and I'm trying to figure out yeah how to solve those. Okay, but if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.